Hello everyone, welcome to Begrepen.be, the channel which focuses on educational content on one side and also on all things fantasy on the other side. In today's video, we're going to combine those two. We're going to look at how fantasy can get your pupils to read. Today, we will discuss the genre of fighting fantasy. A couple of years ago, I was teaching English and I found that my pupils didn't like reading. Well, not a big surprise for anyone, I think. Not a lot of teens like reading nowadays, since there's a lot of stiff competition from gaming, uh, from watching television, from watching series, from streaming. So, reading is, is kind of dying for some generations. But I found something online which really got my attention. I found a few copies of Zork, The Forces of Krill, which is like some 80s adventure novel where the reader can choose the action that the characters take. So, for instance, if you come at a junction, you have to choose, am I going left, am I going right? The choices you make will define whether your character lives or dies, whether the story ends well or ends badly. I used the copies that I found secondhand in class and I got an entire class reading for over an hour. They were really into the story and the fact that they, as a reader, had agency, they could really decide what their character was going to do, really got them motivated to read further. Furthermore, there was this competition element. Who could end the story in a good way? Who could reach the happy end for all characters? Now, armed with that experience, I went online and I searched for other types of choose-your-own-adventure. And I ended up with fighting fantasy. Fighting fantasy, I found this box on eBay. It's kind of like the, the golden standard of fighting fantasy, written by Steve Jackson and Ian Livingston. And it has eight books. The first one is a real classic, The Warlock of Firetop Mountain. Now, the idea in this book is that you start at the beginning, of course, and then you choose your own path. But before you get into the actual adventure, where you can choose where you go, you have to design your character. You do that through the adventure sheet and the encounter boxes, and you have to roll for your characteristics. Characteristics being on these pages here. You have your skill, how good you are with a weapon, your stamina, how healthy you are, how much damage you can take, your luck, which you can use to get out of weird situations, and then your items, gold, jewels, potions that you can help, and your other provisions. So what do you use these characteristics for? Well, every time you come across a monster, like, for instance, a caveman, that caveman also has skill and stamina. And you use your dice to fight your enemies, hence the term fighting fantasy. So it's actually playing against the book. Now this one, since you have to roll for characteristics and you have to use dice through the adventure, is a bit more complicated than just reading and choosing and deciding. You have to roll, there's kind of a game mechanism in it. Um, for those of you who are familiar with uh, games like Hero Quest and Warhammer, uh, it will be no shock to you that these guys were the founding fathers of Games Workshop. So they took this with the dice and the adventure and the characteristics one step further and created an entire game system. But whereas gaming with models and roleplay is a bit tricky to do in class, I highly recommend using fighting fantasy to get your pupils to read. I've played this adventure with my kids and they really love the idea of making their own decisions, just as my pupils did with Zork the Legend of Krill. You find a lot of this online secondhand. Uh, I would also recommend visiting the site 
fightingfantasy.com, which provides you with uh, characteristics rosters that you can print out and let pupils fill that in and not write in the books. So fighting fantasy to get pupils to read, to get people motivated to read and to read yourself. A big win. Introduce it in class. See what happens. There's even an app where you can buy the digitalized version and you don't even need real dice to play it. So there's no excuse not to get into fighting fantasy right now. Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. Also, check out our other videos on the channel. There's a lot more content where that came from. Stay in touch using our socials, links in the description. Hope to see you back here real soon.